How to calculate square root of any number? I'm Anil Kumar and I'll show you a technique of calculating square root of any number without calculator. Right? So that's the key. It is without calculator. So it's a kind of division which we learned long time back. And I'm very happy to share it with you. Let us try to find square root of let us say 200. Okay. To find square root of 200, we can have a special kind of division and that is how we divide it. So that's a normal division way. But in this case, as you know in square root, we are always multiplying the same number. So the technique is, whatever number is given to you, make in pairs from left to right. So, so from left to right, two numbers and then we are left with just one. Now, we'll try to divide the numbers from the right. So it is 1. We know 1 times 1. We have to always place the same number as a divisor and as a quotient. So 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 2 is 4. We have only number 2. So we can divide just by 1. So we put 1 by 1 times 1. We get 1 here. So take away 1 from 2. We get 1. Now bring down both the numbers together. So we get 100 here. It's kind of a different way of dividing. Now we have to again divide and this time we write the number which is twice quotient over there. 2 times 1 is 2. So we write 2 here. Now we have to fill in another number which can be multiplied by itself to get closer to 100. Now we can say that 10 can be divided by 2 5 times. Well, then 5 times 5 will be 25, much bigger numbers. Let's try number 4. So we'll draw 4 here and 4 here also. It's kind of same number has to come. That is the technique. 4 times 4 is 16, so we get 6 here. 1, 4 times 2 is 8 and 8 plus 1 is 9. So we get 96. Now take away 96 from 100. We get number 4. So 14 is square root of 200. Very close if we are considering the whole numbers. So if you want to go further, then we can add a decimal and two zeros. Bring down both these zeros. And then again, we'll start with our process, which is 2 times 14. So the number is 28. And now we have to write some number here and some number there with decimal in between. Now that means if I write 1, I get 2, 8, 1, right? If I write 2, then 2 times 2 is 4. So we get a number more than 400. So we'll go with 1. So we can write 1. 1 in the quotient and 1 in the divisor. So when you multiply by 1, you get 281. Now take away 281 from 400. 10 take away 1 is 9. 9 take away 8 is 1. And 3, you have to take away 2 from 3, you get 1. Well, we can go to two decimal places. Let's put two more zeros, bring down these zeros. Okay. Now, what number can I place here and here so that we can get closer to 11,900? Well, 2 times 5 is 10, 5 times 8 is 40, that will be higher than 11, so we can try 4. 4, 4 times 4 is 16, 6, 4 times 1 is 4, plus 1, 5, 4 times 8 is 32, 2, 3 carry over, and 4 times 8 is 4 times 2 is 8 plus 3 is 11. So we get this number, which is indeed very close to 11,900. And when you take away, you get 4, 4, and 640. That's your remainder. But anyway, the closest we have got for two decimal places is 14.14. And therefore, we can say square root of 200 round to approximately two decimal places is equal to 14.14. But I hope you appreciate this special kind of division process by which 
we can actually calculate square root of any number, right? Try this technique and find square root of, let us say, 350, right? So you can do repeated division in this fashion. You have to write the same number. First step is, of course, to club them from left. So we get group of 2 here and then 1. And if you want decimal places, you can add more zeros, set of zeros you have to add, correct? So that way you can get to two decimal places. So that is how you can actually find square root of any number. Practice with few numbers at home. I hope you appreciate it. Thank you and all the best.